Good morning, y'all. How's it going? My name's Nathan Gonzalez, and I'm coming at you with a little something special today. First of all, I'd just like to say, I hope you all are safe and are healthy in this time of emergency with coronavirus going all around. Make sure you guys are washing your hands. Make sure you're not touching your face. Make sure you're practicing good hygiene. And please, stay safe and stay healthy. Also, I hope you have toilet paper in your house because there's not much toilet paper out there. Also, there's like no rice at all. Costco's all out. I never, th I never thought Costco would run out of rice. Anyways, a couple days ago, I went to my future college, Oakland University, for their business day. So basically what this business day is, is it's basically this huge preview and huge showcase of all the programs that they offer in their business school. Also, it shows all these different resources that they offer from the school, and basically it's kind of like a mini orientation of sorts. So obviously, if you want more information on that, you can just go to OU's website and search that out for yourself. But I don't want to bore you guys with stuff that I learned about OU at the business day. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to be sharing with you what I learned about people and social situations from one college visit. Okay, now if you're a college student, don't click away just yet. One, you might learn something new. Two, you might agree with me, or three, you might actually disagree with me. I don't know, who knows? Uh, tell me in the comments below what you think after you finish watching this video. While you're here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. So, you're probably wondering, what could Nathan learn in one day from a college visit? Well, we're gonna find out! First thing, you are not the center of attention. I feel like this is a problem that a lot of people my age struggle with. Like, I hear so many people go, oh my god, I'm afraid to go and ask if I can go to the bathroom because I feel like everyone's gonna look at me. Or say something like, oh my god, if I move my backpack, people are gonna look at me because I made a noise. But no! Nobody cares, actually. Seriously, please, just listen. I'm sorry to break it to you, but nobody cares as much as you think. <laughs> I mean, it's the harsh truth, but put yourself into perspective for a second. So, if you're sitting there, right, and somebody, I don't know, coughs or sneezes or like opens up their backpack or something and makes noise in the middle of a meeting, you're probably gonna look at them and go, hmm, and then go back to whatever else you were doing, which is probably what's gonna happen to other people. They don't look at you because they're judging you, they look at you because you made noise, and when something makes noise, it catches our attention. But after that, they don't care. I know this may seem stupid or something small for some people, but like, I mean, I've been there. Like, I was afraid to, you know, do certain things because I didn't want people to pay attention to me, like, asking to go to the bathroom. You don't know how many times I've almost pissed myself because I was too afraid to go to the bathroom. Look at me now, I can ask to go to the bathroom. Now, obviously this doesn't have to just apply to going to the bathroom or moving an object in a quiet room, but just apply it to everything else. I mean, just think. Nobody cares as much as you think. Now don't get me wrong, people do care. This is a case by case thing, you can't just apply it to everything. People care about some things, but for the most part, not everyone cares about every single thing that you do. All right, so we just got finished with our first showcase. Yeah, and we're heading on to the second one. All right, number two. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Okay, before we actually get into it, let me show you physically where asking questions gets you. All right, so I got a shirt, another shirt, a cool looking scarf thing, and I got sunglasses. Dude, 
This is where asking questions gets you. So the reason why I got all of those was because in every single showcase that I went to, I told myself that I had to ask at least one valuable question. Now, a lot of people might think like, oh, if I ask a question, I might seem dumb. Or, oh, that might be a dumb question. But chances are, other people have that question too, and they're too afraid to ask. So really, you're stepping up and being the bigger dude like, yo, I got you, it's okay. And also, this ties in with the last tip of nobody really cares. I'm gonna be honest, I don't even remember the questions that I asked. So let alone the other questions that other people asked. So I mean, if it's a good question, you probably helped other people get their answer to the same question. If it's a bad question, then it's a bad question. Nobody will remember it. I mean, like I said, I don't remember my own questions and I, they were pretty good questions. <laughs> And the biggest benefit of asking questions is that you now have an answer to the question that was in your head. You're gaining knowledge from just simply communicating what you don't know. And I don't know about you, but that is invaluable. That is like... Waha! <laughs> Alright, so we just got done with our second showcase, which was Marketing, Human Resource Management, and General Management. Um, I don't know, I thought it was a pretty good presentation. It really kind of showed a new light to what I thought everything was, which I think is a really good, uh, good thing. I, th I highly recommend going to see what each major is about. That's fact. Yeah, because you really don't know what you're getting into until you actually see it. So, yeah, we're heading off to our third showcase, which is Career Readiness Resources. Yeah, Career Readiness Resources, presented by Career Services and the Achieve Program. We'll tell you about it. All right, so my third piece of knowledge that I'm sharing with you guys today is that you attract what you put out. All right, so the funny thing about this one is that I was actually talking to my mom about this, and she's like, you know, we have a teacup with that on it. And I'm like, what do you mean? So, yeah, we have a teacup with, like, the writing on the side? Yeah, I don't know if you can read that, but here, I'll read it for you. <clears throat> what you think, you become. What you feel, you attract. What you imagine, you create. Buddha. So anyways, what does that mean in this context? Well, I mean, it's quite simple, actually. I mean, you hang out with the people that you want to hang out with. <laughs> but I would say that it does go further than that. It goes far deeper than that. What's going on in here is a huge road sign to everybody out there of what kind of energy, what kind of vibe you're giving off to the world. Now you're probably thinking, energy, vibe, what? But detract that, like, spiritual talk that I was just saying, and you will know what I'm talking about. You know, when somebody just walks in the room and you just feel the energy change. Like, when somebody really bubbly walks in the room, it's like, oh, hey, like, what's up? And then when somebody, like, really moody walks into the room, everything just goes, Phew. So what I'm saying is that what's going on inside of here and in here is projected out into the world. And what's projected out into the world is a huge billboard of what other people see. And if you guys know how advertising works, similar people are attracted to similar products. You're not gonna buy something on a billboard or an advertisement that you don't like. So like I said before, you attract what you put out. So if you put out good vibes, most likely people will come back at you with good vibes. Because to my knowledge, good vibed people go with good vibed people. <laughs> And same with all kinds of people. If you're a serious-minded person, more serious-minded people will come to you. If you are a quiet, shy type of person, then I mean, there's a chance that another quiet and shy person will connect with you. It's just whatever thing you put out, you are going to attract that. So that concludes our business day at OU. It was a fun time. It was a, it was a pretty great experience. Would you say so? Yeah, it was, it was really fun, actually. Very informative. It really showed all the... Oh, I can't step on that. <laughs> I think it really showed... Or... Cool. Good okay. timing. Great timing. All right. So I think it really... 
I think it really showed. Oh my god! Why? We can't catch a break. Ah. It's 1 8, 1 p.m., right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh. All right. Well, we'll finish this at home. Yep. See you there. Bye. Bye. All right. Hello. So obviously this isn't right after business day. Some time has passed. I mean, like, I got a haircut. <laughs> But anyways, what I was trying to say was that this little college visit really changed my perspective on certain social situations just by putting me in that college setting. All right, and one more thing that I learned, and this is for you high school seniors out there, is to really explore and discover your field of interest. So for me, obviously, it's business. I know that I want to do something in marketing or general management, and this day, this day was an overview of all the different majors that the School of Business offers. And I discovered some majors that I actually didn't know I had an interest in. And I think it also reinforced what I already knew about marketing and general management. So even though it didn't help me make the decision, it's helping me make the decision. So go out there and do your research. All right, y'all, that is all that I have for you today. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something from this video. I hope that you were able to take something away from this video, and I hope that you're able to apply it in your life somewhere. Because I just, I just want to help you. <laughs> you can go in the comments below and tell me if you thought that these tips were helpful for you, or maybe if you come back and you actually did use these tips and you found them helpful. All right, and one last thing, one last reminder, please stay safe and stay healthy during these times. Make sure you wash your hands and don't touch your face and make sure you cough and sneeze properly because the last thing that I want to see is one of you guys getting sick and feeling unwell and getting your family members sick. I... Mm -hmm. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and even share the video if you liked it. Maybe even hit that notification bell. And I wish you well, and I will see you later.